I thought that we would be together. So, as soon as I sent you that, I was like, I was like, I, I hate it. I was like, I was like, I need to just, I need to just save those lyrics and do something else with it. No. Oh, okay. Um, I think that song was really good. Really? Because, <laughs> like, that's the thing is, like, I was like, I can't stand this. Um, because I've been listening to it all day, mixing it. Like, I've been mixing it all day. And I'm recording you for the documentary, by the way, if you didn't know that. Um,. <laughs> I had been recording. I had been recording it all day, like not recording it, but mixing it. And I was just like, I hate it. Like, hey, Jillian. Hi. Are you making a blog? No, I'm making a movie. Do you want to be in it? Yeah. Well, now you are. So. Tell them what you thought about my sweater. I love it, and you are saying the same words as me. Really? <laughs> Along with it. Dude, do y'all like a karaoke machine or is like my phone tripping? <laughs> <laughs> karaoke machine. That's that's um, sick. <laughs> and David's. Who you gave your sweater to? Tell me, tell me. Who you gave your sweater to? Tell me, tell me. Who you gave your sweater to? I See, I have my effects, and this is an amp pedal. It's been good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bro. Do you like the bass in the background? I love it. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm thinking, I'm thinking like that song almost. A sad song? Like I wanted to talk about like ah, where's my where's my book? Oh we could do that then. We can just change it to I, I don't wanna go outside. Yeah, I, I wanted to be I don't wanna go outside. Yeah. But I gotta find my my rhymes, my guy. Gotcha. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. I wrote this a while ago. So this is like, hold this real quick, while I'm. So this is our setup. You see, we got the we got the whole studio right here. Um, got the Audio Technica M30Xs used, offline. Can't even pay for them brand new, even though it's the cheapest pair of Audio Technicas. And we got this USB microphone. No. I don't wanna go outside. I just wanna stay here in my room. I said that last part. Let's see. But like, have you ever done like like vocal layers before? Oh yeah, yeah. Like where it's like two of you. Right. Authentic. I mean, you can't even fathom Killer Kelly in the flesh. Am I right? Am I right? Who is Killer Kelly? Where is Killer Kelly? What is Killer Kelly? Am I right? And who has seen him? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Killer Kelly today? Yeah, Juicy J. 
juice. Mission, keep your dollars, I won't miss them. How do you do that? And he's just like, oh, it's just like, put your fingers here. And I'm like, well, shoot, that's not that hard. And then yeah. you make a song out of it, you know? Yeah, that's the cool thing about it. I'm soaking it all in that time. It's a lot of butter. You gotta have a lot of butter. It's what? gonna bring out the flavor. Yeah. We'll bring out the flavor? Yep. Turn that bad boy up. Yikes. I mean, look at that. Oh, that's shit. looking like, you know what that's looking like? Ugh. Lunch. Looking like lunch. Now put it's some looking, cheese on oh, it. Oh, oh, look at this. You might want to flip that quick. You know, you burn on one side. Flip it right here. Flip it. Flip Hopefully it. it's not burnt. Flip it. Oh, oh it's not that burnt. Oh, See, oh. it's crispy though. Oh, it's got some crisp. Put an apple in here. Apple seed. Y'all want any fruit? Johnny apple seed. Yeah. You're like, you're like, what did you just say about the Arizona? Makes you escape reality. Why so? Because it's so good. So what, what, what's your preference of escape? Not. What, what flavor of escape is your favorite? Mango. <laughs> Mucho mango. Mucho mango. We got mucho mango, my guy. Oh! Hit my boy. You don't deserve the right to speak. <laughs> Understandable. That's a lot of love for missionary. This the first time I confess. Get in my past. Love forgive me. Hoping I don't relapse. They just bought a new 911. Almost. Or you can try to jump in there.
Okay guys, so I just moved Jake's car away from where it was parked and he is surprised. <laughs> he didn't even see it coming. Wow. Are you surprised? No. Out boy. <laughs> you are surprised. My dad goes, uh, were you at the pep rally? I was like, um, not exactly. Better. It's like, it's like a star. Yeah. I need gas. Oh, true that. <laughs> <laughs> that was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> right, John? Huh? Right, John? I don't know. What? I know. I, I, I don't know. You're going to appreciate this when you're gone. When I'm gone? Like dead? <laughs> Recording at the moment. This um lime slushy is giving me the shakes. <laughs> it wasn't even a joke. I'm shaking. <laughs> I did. Like, I couldn't figure out why you laughed. You laughed at the same time as me. Like, well, no, it's because you started laughing slushy, and I was like, why are we laughing? This slushy is Florida, and that one's South Carolina, which do you drink out of? <gasps> Anna! God! Mm. I didn't realize it was full. I'll look it. No, I... This is actually Jake's camera, so he's going to be like, watching these later. Okay, no, no I could be in a YouTube video. Legit Smitty entering the building. <gasps> Missing. Got not a word! Uh, take pictures of my feet again. <laughs> okay, hold on. It's for the vlog. What? Are those, um, what are they called? Bang. Bang shoes? In my presence? Oh. That's so cool. Time. What's yes! What's it's you like this one, Emily? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for the neighborhood. Would you be my, would you be my, won't you be my neighbor? We could put ice in the cooler and then we could go get some like Arizona. <laughs> Well, he's playing rock band then. <laughs> it's it's uh pressure it's like sensitive. He's playing frets. guitar here right now. <laughs> Wait, actually, 
の。So production's going well. Um, I had the guys the other day. That's probably the last clips you saw. Um, that doesn't necessarily relate to my music, but we've been chilling. Um, Hurricane Irma is um, the outer edge of it's kind of hitting us right now. Um, a lot of weather is hitting us kind of crazily right now. So yeah, we're not feeling all of it, the effects of it, but definitely feeling some. Okay guys, so it's been kind of an odd night. Um, school is not cool. Yeah, so open house was tonight. My parents got to meet some of my teachers, which led to a conversation about work ethic. Water. I don't have my laptop now is the real thing about all this. I had decided a while ago that I was going to do some hand-drawn covers for the CD copies of the album. And so that's what I've been doing tonight. I've been drawing some covers for the album. Um, really now I'm trying to like think through logistics kind of stuff tonight since I don't have um, media producer, you know what I'm saying? It's not that bad. Might just be really thirsty though. But yeah, stay thirsty, my friends. Here's my current. Oh, hey there, pupper. How are you doing this tonight? It's a stack of CDs. There's some pencil markers, CD cases. There's some more CD cases right there. And some blank CDs. Keep on grinding, dudes. Yeah, one last thing before um, we're done here. This just happened. So those are from past nights of bad work ethic. This is tonight's bad work ethic in school, guys. Do your homework, people. Avoid conversations with parents about school. Okay, um, this is night number two without my computer or um, any music equipment. Um, I think it's starting to work out for the better, to be quite honest here. I'm starting to clear my mind a little bit, get a little break from 
some of the ideas that were in my head um, that might not have been the best considering um, I have a lot of songs already done. Um, I think it's probably good that I can get a somewhat fresh palette for a couple of days to come back and do um, some last couple of songs um, with a new ish mindset but tonight I am listening through the so far um, completed somewhat completed songs mostly completed songs um, and taking notes I have my piece of paper here and see a player here um, with a CD of what I would call, I guess, demo number two recorded to it, burned to it. Um, demo number one only had like five songs. This one has like nine, so plus some interludes, so probably like ten. It's 37 minutes long right now, which is good. You know, it means I'm getting to a good, um, decent time for a project. Been thinking a lot, if you can't tell. So that's all I got for tonight gonna listen to the rest of these songs and then we'll see where um, getting my equipment back goes in the days to come so so like I definitely um, I've listened to it through about one and a half times now going back to specific songs after listening through all the way once um, but I definitely think this has been very um, productive. Um, as you can see, I've filled this side of the sheet and all of this side of the sheet, um, just writing down things that I wanna fix and things that I wanna do differently and ideas for samples that would really tie things together, I think. And um, I think it's gonna flow a lot more than I thought it would if I can pull these samples together and fix a couple of these things. Um, it's still just a project, you know, it's still just an exclamation, you know, but I think it's gonna be awesome. I'm a lot more excited now, and I wanna do my best work on this, so. Making tape covers, still don't have my laptop. This is my little brother's, doing some work on it, but not for the album, unfortunately. But yeah, I think these look pretty sick. Um, got this one too, with the, with the little wormy boy on it. And this scared boy saying, yes sir, father. This one says, no sir. Little uh, uh, tribute to uh, some of the things I'm going through right now. With the parental uh, issues. Okay, so I just got my laptop back and along with some other things and um, I gotta start mixing and mastering and making these songs and finishing this album. I am eternally behind, but we gotta stay positive and work through this. Shall we begin? Look how big it is. Is that its noise? Do you hear that? Back in the booth with the sock and the headphones. Messages, that's wasted storage. Send a text and I ignore it. In fact, I delete it. But then I look for it. But it's wasted storage. Wasted storage. This is the intro track for adolescence. I am mastering, mixing and mastering it currently. Um, got a lot of stress on me right now. It's a very chill track. It's something I enjoy listening to actually. So 
it's kind of cool to enjoy my own work. It is October the the ninth. Um, my grandmother's got in a really bad car accident today, and yesterday was a very <clears throat> emotional and eventful day. Um, going through a lot right now in the midst of trying to finish this album and have it done within the next 20 something days when I'm really thinking about it that's not a lot of time so despite this emotion and through this emotion I gotta push this out um, also dealt with some bull crap um, this morning I tried to release a new single yesterday off the fly and have it out in the next couple of days for some reason this music is wanting to release on my old Spotify account that I put out some like old raps on for some reason it's defaulting to that account to um, release under for Spotify rather than the most recent one that the original um, Be Kind single is on which wasn't even, I mean, there's just so many things wrong with that. First of all, the fact that Spotify has created two accounts for me underneath the same exact name. And second of all, the fact that the old distribution service that I was doing distribution with does not give me a, <clears throat> excuse me, easy option to take my old songs off of Spotify. They're kind of stuck there. I don't really want them there anymore now looking back. But, um, yeah, so going through that right now, but essentially just gotta bunker down and get this bad boy knocked out. I just wanted to take the singular track and remind you that this project wasn't made for you. It wasn't made for my friends. It a Chris. Just always remember to get your color up the Game Boys, you know? Make them Game Boy colors, always. Aww. If your colors are not Game Boy, then those are some blands, right? Game Boy blanders. I uh, duh. I love my Game Boy bland. Good night, honey. Good night. So, I just finished recording the first version of Blame. Um, it was like a brain fart. Like, honestly, like, I came up with it in the last two days. I um, made the beat for it last night based off of an original beat that sounded like... Had, it had like a similar eerie tone to it, but the drums were completely different and... It was nowhere near as good, um, and so I stripped it, knew what I wanted, uh, made a new beat that fit better with the lyrics, and now I've recorded lyrics, um, and I sent it to Chris, and he, you know he's kind of my like my executive um, guy that tells me when stuff could be better, and I trust his judgment because we have very similar taste in music, but. Um, I'm trying to make the decision now if I want it to be like a angry, like sad tone song or if I want it to be an angry, sad tone song with like a more singy tone to my voice because that's what Chris is recommending and this is like one time where I am like agreeing but like I still don't know how this is going to turn out if I 
make it into a singy type song. So we'll see what happens. Y'all will see what happens. Oh my gosh. Dudes. It is October 19th. Um, the album's still not done, but for some reason in the last two weeks I've recorded two songs that I feel like are better than things I've been trying really hard to mix well and re-record. So yeah, that's, that's life for you. Um, there's going to be a second project. Because uh, I have too much music for the, just this one. So yeah, there's that. Not gonna leave that to be um, determined. What the swag stuff's starting to sound really toasty though. Warm to the ears, fun for the mind, entertaining, as well as confusing. It's gonna be a ride of a lifetime. It's like <clears throat> October 20th, 20, 21st. My mother's yelling things at me as usual. Um, there's 10 freaking days, 10 freaking days until this, until this album. Um, it's going to change things. It's going to change a lot of things, I hope. Um, it's not going to be an overnight thing, I don't think, but it needs to hit the right audience, and I think it will, and I think there's an audience for what I've made, and I'm starting to realize that more and more as I share things just for critiquing purposes, that there's going to be an audience for this, and it's one that hasn't been formed yet, but an audience from other audiences are gonna probably, hopefully, come together to form a new audience for the type of thing that I've made here. And it's gonna be something, it's gonna be something different. And I feel confident that that can happen. I just have to find the right ways to get it out there. So, yeah, it's been some long nights recently. Um, some sad moments, some happy moments, and um, life's a roller coaster as always. But it's 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 fun. It's it's a good time, you know. I'm excited. I gotta go. Man, random song splurge moment. Listen to this. So yeah, I don't really know where that came from. I was just singing and then I was like, shit hit record on that bad boy. Let's see what I can do beat wise. Alright guys, five days until release, tonight is the night that I will finish the album.
Hey man, make some music. Get ready for your album. I'm excited to hear. Yeah. My sweater. Yeah. My, my computer's just being so slow. And it's old. You use it a lot, you know. Uh, I'll make any money off of this. That's what it's going to do. You didn't do anything else today? Uh, I'm just like, this is, I'm ass. ready to be done with this. This is my signature pose, like, <laughs> you know, you know, you know. I feel like. I was poking it. I was poking it with a needle and then it got spicy and it hurt and it bled and then the blood scabbed up and then now it's infected dude that sucks the stinging folks such like a, a you thing to do yeah but now it hurts why are you just gonna do it as an x huh why were you just gonna do it as an x because i was feeling edgy and i was like x for like no cares no Don't they take like a year to go away they take like five years if it's a good one do another one. I might. Uh, he keeps on like missing practice. Don't put that in the video. It's 1243 on... 1243 on October 28th. This is a lot later than I would have expected this to be done. Process. Sent Chris this private link earlier. I don't think he listened to it yet, but I went ahead and made the call. And these suckers are getting uploaded. Having a lot of issues. I had a lot of issues. I just kind of blew past them because I re realized it didn't really matter. But for some reason, I can't put the album name in all caps or any of the song names in all caps. So what I told Chris was, they can kill my aesthetic, but they can't kill the quality of my songs. So, yeah, it's not gonna look as visually pleasing whenever you select the songs as I would like it to, but it should still sound good if you think it sounds good. <laughs> my favorite cover this one and the first CD are going in and there it is folks very first hard copy of Adolescence. That feels good.
I just really hope that it actually releases because otherwise this is gonna suck and it's 12 and it, it's probably not gonna show up for at least another three years. So after an extended period of time, as you can see, it's 6.20 p.m. on the 31st. We finally got this up to par where it needs to be. And out here on Apple Music, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Looking legit. All 15 tracks. Spotify's not quite there yet, but it's about to be. All right, folks, it's the end of the documentary. And you're probably thinking to yourself, thank the Lord gosh, that was the longest 45 minutes to 30 minutes to maybe longer than that I've ever experienced. Who knows how long this was because I haven't edited it, edited it yet. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my sadness and happiness, and all of the emotions that were captured in this documentary. And, I'll see you next time. This is Adolescence.